Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're doing a review of the Water Boss Pro 180 and the Pro Plus 380. Watersoft has become a necessity across North America. That hard water is causing grief for a lot of families. Not only is it causing a lot of staining and making the home very difficult to keep clean, it's also costing those families money. Because with a water softener you save money. In terms of soap use, with a water softener you use less than half the soap for bathing, for doing dishes, for doing laundry, etc. Also things like any of your water using appliances like your dishwasher, your washing machine, or your hot water tank will last much, more, much longer with soft water and they'll also stay much more efficient um, all throughout their service life. So what makes these high efficiency water softeners? Well, they have, um, it's not about hydro usage. Most water softeners, these ones use about $2 worth of hydro a year. Most water softeners anywhere from $2 to $20 a year of hydro. That's not what it's about. It's about how much salt and how much water they use to regenerate. These water softeners will only use uh, two and a half to three pounds of salt per regeneration compared to a contemporary water softener which we use as two or three times that. Also the amount of water they use, only about 15 or 16 gallons of water per regeneration. Again, compared to a conventional water softener, it could be 50, 60 or even 70 gallons of water per regeneration. And regeneration time is very short. Um, 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes, in and around that uh, time range. Again, compared to a standard efficiency water softener, you're talking an hour and a half to two hours. By the way, we do offer discount pricing and free shipping on these units. Just go to the link up here, take you right to our website. So how do these stack up? In terms of performance, I give these a 10 out of 10. They're highly efficient, so they use very little resources, but they also work equally well on well water or municipal water sources for those folks in the city. In terms of capacity, I give them a 9 out of 10. They're basically just limited by their size. So, but if you have a, a water source where your hardness is, let's say, a, about 20 grains per gallon, and you have a family of six or more, then you better go with the larger Pro Plus 380. Cost to operate, 10 out of 10. As I mentioned earlier, there's very low salt usage and very low water usage. So one thing you need to keep in mind about water usage, if you're on a municipal water source, you're paying usually about a penny a gallon for your water usage. But if you're on a well, a lot of folks say, oh, the water's free, I'm on a well. It's actually not free because your pump is running and that pump uses a lot of hydro. So if it's a regeneration time of about 20 minutes with these units compared to an hour and a half to two hours, your pump runs a whole lot longer for those standard efficiency water softeners than they would for these high efficiency water softeners, saving your family more money. In terms of ease of installation, I give them 9 out of 10. They come with a great manual, they come with uh, connections that you can use to connect to your household plumbing, and I also have a great playlist up here, an installation playlist for water softeners that can definitely help you with the installation process. I've zoomed out here so you can see exactly how small these water softeners actually are. Thru during the course of this whole video, these water softeners have both been sitting on chairs. So this water softener here is only about 26, 27 inches tall. This one here is about 33 inches tall. So you can see they're very small. In terms of features, I give them 9 out of 10. The valve is very easy to program and very easy to set up. It would be nice to have a day's override feature so if the capacity isn't used up because it's a metered water softener within a certain period of time that would automatically regenerate. And that's good for low use um, locations like cottages or cabins, things like that. Some other great features that these uh, incorporate is they have a built-in sediment filter. It's a self-cleaning sediment filter that lasts for the life of the unit. So you never have to worry about changing filters. It also has KDF process media, which helps um, reduce a little bit of the chlorine taste and smell from the water, but also makes your water taste and smell fresher. In terms of parts available, the 8 out of 10. These units are manufactured in the United States and dealers like myself have full range of parts availability. They are a proprietary product, so you would have to go to a dealer to get the replacement parts. When it comes to longevity, I give these a 10 out of 10. I've personally seen many Water Boss water softeners out there in the field that are 20 to 25 years old and they're still going strong. When it comes to reliability and build quality, I give these 9 out of 10. These units are fully manufactured in the United States, has been doing this for a very long time. They're extremely reliable. The only thing I caution folks on is because they are a high efficiency water softener, and if you're in a situation where there's only a couple people in the household and the water isn't used all that much because maybe it's a seasonal home or something like that, keep the salt level very low in the reservoir so that salt turns over. And especially if you're using potassium chloride, mind you this goes for any water softener, keep 
keep the, keep the potassium chloride levels low because that stuff especially tends to clog very easily in any water softener. Initial investment, I definitely rate these a 10 out of 10. Most high efficiency products, including high efficiency water softeners, are 50% or 100% more than a standard efficiency water softener. These water boss units are only a couple hundred dollars more than a comparable standard efficiency water softener. They are fully metered and they've got lots of features. Great value for the money. In terms of styling and aesthetics, 10 out of 10. Now, it may not be critical about the styling of your water softener if it's going in a utility room in the basement, but quite often in situations like cottages and cabins where there's very little space for water softeners, we end up putting these in laundry rooms or even in bathrooms, even in kitchens. And uh, the look it becomes very important when it gets to that stage. And also because they're totally enclosed, they're very easy to keep clean, keeps the dust away. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos they become available on this channel. I'd also really appreciate it if you share this video with your Facebook friends. For some more information, you can go to our website, either thewatereaststore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.